Hi, today I want to talk about a process called chelation. A number of you might have heard this word before, but what exactly is it and why is it so good for the human body? Especially when it comes to losing weight, when it comes to preventing diseases, when it comes to healing of diseases, when it comes to boosting immunity, which is the only thing that can prevent the onset of a disease or that can also heal a disease. And I'm talking about diseases ranging from diabetes to cardiovascular to even cancer. I think the most important thing is detoxification. And I keep, I keep on believing in the point and seeing how it works wonderfully when it comes to weight loss and disease. Weight loss is not just about nutrition. It is not just about exercising intensely. It's not just about your sleep. It's not just about stress and emotional detoxification. It is also mainly about human body detoxification. For you see, the more toxins that we accumulate in the body, the more difficult it is for your vital organs to function. And when your vital organs are not functioning to its optimum, your body only cares about survival. It does not care about your weight loss goal. It doesn't care about your six pack goal, your size zero goal, or all of those goals that you may have out. It only cares about your survival. So when toxins start to accumulate in the human body, that's when over a hundred different functions get impaired and your body works aggressively to first clean out those excess toxins so that it can go back to doing its normal functions and help you lose that weight or prevent a disease or heal a disease. <clears throat> We've spoken about detoxification being the most important vertical when it comes to your health, weight loss, right up to cancer, to migraines, to everything. It is detoxification because most disease and the inability to lose weight is the morbid collection of the morbid collection and accumulation of toxins over the day. And as you know, every second of the day, your five eliminatory organs are constantly working to reduce the burden of toxicity in your human body. Those five eliminatory organs are your skin, which is the largest. Then you have your lungs, your kidney, your liver, and your colon. So long as you keep all of these five eliminatory organs working at optimum level, you have great health. You will be able to lose weight without a struggle. You will be able to put a cancer into remission along with several other things that you have to do because that's a multifactorial disease like most diseases are multifactorial. What I mean by that is there are many, many small triggers and causes for a disease. It's never just one of them. <clears throat> And the usual, the usual solution is always and always, almost always lifestyle. So chelation goes a little, goes a step further. Chelation is detoxification of heavy metals from the human body. Now you may think, how, how does my body store heavy metals? I don't do Ayurveda medicine. I don't do any of that stuff. And all Ayurvedic medicine doesn't necessarily have heavy metals. And some medications believe that there should be a small amount of heavy metals because, you know, poison kills poison, but it has to be well calculated and personalized, which means according to your body, your lifestyle, and your ailment that you're suffering from. But chelation is basically removal of heavy metals from your body. I'm talking about lead. I'm talking about aluminium. I'm talking about arsenic. I'm talking about mercury. All of these toxins impair right from your brain function to your immunity to the functioning of your liver, your kidney, your colon, your cells, your hair, your skin everything. Your inability to think. Children who are born with high traces of heavy metals <clears throat> usually face symptoms of attention deficient disorder, autism, so many different complications. And as adults, we go through brain fog, you know, issues with fatigue, this constant putting on weight no matter what you do. So how do you chelate yourself? You know, now you can get treatments costing thousands and thousands of dollars across the world in fancy spas ranging from Mexico to Italy to everywhere. But we need to understand that first, we want to keep it simple when it comes to chelation. Chelation is nothing but feeding yourself nutrients, food nutrients that are able to bind to molecules of lead, mercury, and all the heavy metals in your body and automatically chelate you, come out of your system. So basically, when we look at chelation, there's one simple tip that I want to give you, give everyone out there today. It's a very simple juice that you can make at home. And yeah, you should always speak to your doctor before you're doing this juice, just in case you have high potassium levels. It is coriander juice, also known as cilantro. So you get a bunch of the cilantro or a bunch of coriander, you wash it really, really well. 
okay you can wash it in water with a little bit of you know sea salt and apple cider vinegar or if you have organic all the better or if you grow it because coriander grows very very easily even in a little pot at home or on your balcony you can grow this and you take a bunch you wash it really well cut off the stalks and then you juice it with water it's as simple as that you make a glass of coriander juice maybe about 300 ml you can add a little bit of lemon you can add a little bit of ginger a little bit of black pepper you can build on that the base is coriander or cilantro juice and this has the most amazing chelating properties ever so you make that juice if you want to put yourself on a chelation plan maybe do two juices one in the morning one in the evening for three to four days and then you can cut it down to one juice every day for a week and then your normal vegetable juice because i completely advocate vegetable juices over fruit juicing i don't advocate juicing of fruits because it takes away most of the nutrients breaks down most of the fiber and and that amount of fructose just hits your body and hits your liver actually causing more accumulation of fat so pure vegetable juices coriander can always be the base or even if it's a carrot you know if it's a carrot uh, cucumber beetroot juice you can always add a little bit of coriander but try doing this for 3 days and see how light you feel you may sweat a little bit more you may feel a, a lot of heat in your body being generated but that's the detoxification process don't be scared of that Have a good good evening everyone until next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep